Hi everybody, this is Vicki. You know, there's light and shadow all the way in our human journey. I've begun putting a new book together, and the first part of it flows beautifully, and then all of a sudden, boom, I hit the, the big boulder in the, the river, and my craft has stopped, my work has stopped, and I think, well now how do I get back in the flow? That's the mind wrestling with the question that belongs to your wholeness because the mind is bifurcated, separated into opposites. And the light and the shadow are actually one thing. Leonard Cohen said recently that there's only light. How true that is. It's, it's we who turn from the light. We who put on our sunglasses, as he says. So here I am. I just came back from getting my car filled up, and I was so grateful for that. As I told the lady who filled it for me, I said, you know, the Jimmy, the owner, is a real sweetheart. I said, whenever I mention my husband, his eyes fill up with tears. That's such a beautiful thing to me. That, that just, I think he's the only one that has that happens to. He thought Bob was a man of great character and great goodness, and how right he was. But I'm at the point in my life now where the thorn has done its work. The thorn of grief has done its work. And now there are only roses. See, I'm wearing roses. And uh, this lovely necklace made out of juniper berries. Rob brought it back to me from the Canyon de Shea a few years ago. It's uh, sacred beads made by Hopi Indians. Beautiful, beautiful thing. I cherish it. And just so, I cherish my whole life, not only the light, but also the shadows. And at a certain point, I'll get back to working on the new book, and it will begin to flow again. I must say.